teacher friends and welcome back to I was just getting ready to create some digital flashcards in Google Slides and I thought I'd take you along with me. Be sure to stick around because I'll also show you how to randomize these flashcards. Let's dive in. So this is what our digital flashcard is going to look like. This is the basics. I'm doing mine for trigonometry and then when they tap the screen the answer will appear. You can do this with any subject. These flashcards are so versatile. Don't forget, I'm gonna also show you how to randomize your flashcards. So let's get started creating these flashcards. So you wanna start with a blank presentation. Of course, we always want to name our presentation. I like a completely blank slate, so I've cleared those out. We're not gonna use any themes today. And I like to change the background. You can make it solid, you can choose a pretty beachy tropical scene, beans that we're getting ready to slide into summer soon. So go to background. You can change the color here or choose an image. I like to type in beach most of the time. Choose something bright and fun, something that you enjoy. And there you have the background. Now this first part is gonna take a few moments, but once you get the basics done, the rest goes really, really quick. So then I'm gonna insert a shape. I like the one with the rounded corners and I just fill up the whole slide just about and I drag it so it's centered vertically and horizontally. I'll know because I'll get those red lines, perfect. And I wanna change the background. I like mine to be white, but you can keep it the grayed out color, whichever you prefer, perfect. And in here, I just double click. I'm going to type my word. You would type your math problem, whatever it is that you wanna put as your question. I'm gonna crank this up, make it as big as I can. There we go. And then I want to center it, perfect. The next thing I need now is the answer box. I'm going to insert another shape and I want to change the color, go to my fill bucket. I double clicked on it and I'm going to put my answer in here, highlight it, let's center that. Could probably make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make the answer bigger, the actual answer. It's a little too big. Back it up. There we go. Looks good. Now click on the answer. You can go to your more dots, go to animate or insert, and then animation. They both do the same thing. And you'll get the drop down animation window to pop up over here on the side. We want something that's popping in, not out, because if it's popping out, it's gonna just disappear. It'll be there to start and then it'll disappear. And we want it to pop in on the click so when the students click on it we can have it fade in i kind of liked it flying in not out we got to go in from the left side that's how i had it earlier on the click this is what it's going to look like so there's your slide when students click on the screen the answer will fly in so that was the tedious part that was the hardest part of this whole now all i have to do is Control d as many times as I want. So I've highlighted the slide in the preview pane on the left and then control D. And then I just go here and I change them. Next one's done. So I've just created three of them right there. Just keep pressing control D because all your animations are there. The only time you need to click on this and change anything is if you wanted it to do something different, if you wanted the answer to fly in a different way. I'm just gonna keep mine all the same. Went too far, let's back up. Opposite. See how quickly that was? And I've created five slides. So then when you share it with your students, and when they click on present, it opens up in full screen. They answer the question to themselves and then press the screen, the answer appears. Press the screen again. Here we go, cosine. Oh, I know that's adjacent divided by hypotenuse. Click on the screen, 
the answer will appear. Click on the screen. The next question, tangent. Oh, opposite divided by adjacent. Got it right. And your students can do that over and over. Now, if you want to randomize this, your students don't need the add-on, but you would need to add the add-on. You go here, add-ons, get add-ons, and you want to get slides randomizer. Let me show you what it looks like. Slides randomizer. It'll look like this and add this to your add-ons. So then when you go up here, notice I have sine, cosine, tangent, go to add-ons, slides randomizer and start. Said it was working. I didn't see anything happen. So I go back in here, slides randomizer, and here's my options. I can randomize the whole presentation, pairs of slides. I don't want it to skip the first slides because I don't have a title slide. So I'm going to uncheck that. So it's told me now that it's randomizing my presentation. Press OK. And notice it's not sine, cosine, tangent anymore. The neat thing about this is you can go in and randomize the slides and it's going to randomize the students. Unless, of course, the students made their own copy. So that's how you randomize the questions. Well, I better get back to work. I got to finish up these slides for my students for tomorrow. Hope you found this helpful. Remember, step out, be uniquely wonderful you, and have a great day.